so you're the chosen one to marry my daughter mate please can you fetch this man, kind man a drink yes brochan oh thank you dad i don't want to marry this prince hello i hope you are the beautiful princess i will be marrying <sighs> i am back with your drink i hope that was sugar you put in my drink it was dear oh that's salt <laughs> I am going and don't expect me to marry someone I don't know. I command you not to marry Malon and marry the prince I chose for you. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Druin starts crying and sobbing while sprinting away from her dad to see Malon. I'm going to marry Malon because even if he's poor, I love him too much and no one is stopping me. <gasps> and I'm never going to marry that prince because I don't even know that Hooligan like and I don't even love him. <laughs> I hate my dad and I will never forgive him. Well, probably in the next year. I really need to have a talk with Malon. On the beautiful shores of North Wales, with the waves crashing on the rocks and the grass flowing smoothly, a princess called Lindemann and a young prince called Malon were walking. I really want to marry you, Malon. Why don't you? My father said I can't marry you. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I thought we would get married. I will talk to my father. Go. I, why should I? I know my father will say no. It's worth a try. Fine, I'll be go, because you mean so much to me. It will break my heart to see you with another man. If we can't be together, then I don't want to see you again. At midnight, when when sorrowfully scarped through the gloomy forest to meet the pauper, Malon, so she could tell him the unfortunate news. Malon seemed curious and confused about what Dwayne Wren was about to tell him. The prince is running after her. Go away, you single Pringle. Oh, come back, my love. I can't live without you. Malon. Malon. Oh, so this is the peasant you've been having an affair with? What did you just say, you spoiled brat? Peasant! My brother senses are tingling. I'm a curious governor. I'll beat him to death. Can I help kill the governor? I like killing governors. Let's beat this governor. <laughs> what do you want to take me, love? This is treason! Malon, I'm terribly sorry for the outcome of my father's opinion. My father is forcing me to marry a posh show. I, I never want to see you get posh number two. Yeah, what he said. Get lost. I'm going to beat up more governors. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Malon. So, so I'm taking the time of my life. in a deep slumber. And by like him down and disturb when when sleep. Dwin when once you drink this drink it will be granted three wishes. What? Who are you and how do you know my name? The angel said calmly. It does not matter who I am but if you must know I am an angel sent from heaven. Dwin was puzzled. But how can I believe you? <laughs> the angel started chuckling. Well I don't think normal people can float. Finwen was talking in a normal voice. Fine, I believe you. So I drink from one of these cups and I'll get the wishes, right? The angel said happily. Yes, that's right. But make sure you drink all of it. The angel gave the goblet to Finwen. Finwen swallowed the whole drink. Finwen was unsure. Finwen started to talk to herself. What should I wish for? I might wish for something. On a moonlit night, thousands of stars punctuate the night sky. At midnight, the wind when is tearful and in the dark. 
she ran away from home and is feeling emotional. The only other sound is that of an owl who also can't sleep. My first wish would be to throw out my true love, Malon. I will grant you this wish and two more. Dwynwen, use them wisely. I wish that all Welsh lovers would be as happy as I was with my true love, Malon. What happened to me? Where am I? Freezing cold. Where shall I go? Help! Remember, you have a limited amount of wishes. Use the last one wisely. Doing when is feeling clueless of what to do. My last wish will be to never fall in love or marry anyone. I don't want to feel heartbroken again. Now that I have granted you three wishes, now I will leave you in peace. <coughs> Twin Wen is sitting on the ground praying to God happily. Dear God, thank you for this new life and for helping me out with that dreadful situation. Amen. Hi. Hi. Twin Wen walked over to the couple and started talking. Pray to God, always worship, be good. Um, okay. Twin Wen sat back down looking happy, but deep down inside she still she knew she still had a love for Melon. I wish I could have married Melon, but my mean old father wouldn't let me. But let's not get angry. I choose to be man, and that's that. Um, are we going to start the ceremony or what? We're trying to get everyone in before we lock the door. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dumman then walked over to the church and started the ceremony. On the 25th of January, every year, people celebrate the story of Tundra's twin one. People celebrate by sending cards to each other and reading the stories of Santa's twin one. People send cards in the shape of hearts to represent the love.